That or and we missed a play. <laughs> we didn't get one play. Uh, missed PAT field goal. So they get a, they get a couple more days to practice, I guess, before we get back out here on the field. Four days in. What do you think? Uh, we're working. You know, I mean, I like our attitude. Guys are guys are work. You know, I mean, you got two two days of pad. So guys are working. Um, you know, there's there's some new faces out there, and so you know what happens is is you can look. You know, I mean, you, you start okay, and then it starts to, 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 to compound, you know, with different installs. So we've got four different installs in right now. Um, you know, a, a big key to me is, is this. If you're going to do the split like we've done over spring break this year, you got that split. We don't practice for 12 days. So you have the opportunity to be healthy and come back and, and fresh, ready to go, uh, one. But if, if, you know, the, the critical thing is, these four installs, we've got, got guys got to review them constantly over spring break. So we come back sharper right now than when we left. If they do nothing and kind of like uh, get confused when they come back, it'll be uh, it, it'll be a big problem for guys getting opportunities to get on the field. You've had obviously you have mid year guys come in all the time, but this year is a higher number than usual. How's that going with those guys meshing in? Well, well, it's great because it gives you one more depth. You know, those guys get the opportunity to get reps. I mean, these are invaluable reps you're getting in spring practice. So, uh, you know, anytime a guy can uh, can graduate early, they get this opportunity to get the, these reps to give them a chance to get on the field to go play and, uh, you know, a, a real opportunity to go learn learn the offense. you got to think that the guys that came in early right now are not only getting the spring right now, when they come back in the summer, they kind of know what's going on. The second when we go to, to to fall camp, it's the second time through the installation, and they're a little bit more confident and comfortable with what's going on. With the new guys, it's kind of the first time, and they're in this same overload that these guys are now. So uh, it's a big advantage. Is it any different with the guys that's been in D one before, like John and Brian and Chauncey, or is are they just the same? Yeah, I think. I mean. I don't think I, I think they just probably are more they, they understand what the program is going to be a lot it's just a little different level and the speed the number of guys all of those things they've been around that before where some of the other guys that you know haven't been when you know a lot of times spring ball junior college your numbers aren't as big and so you're not used to maybe the intensity of which we go a lot of faces back at receiver but you're missing a big piece with Fred Ross what, what have you seen from those guys so far they're doing a pretty good job, you know. I mean, is uh, the, the great thing is is you know one guy leaves, but a bunch of guys that have played are back, and so um, you know even though there might not be the big name at the receiver position, there's experience at the receiver position with guys that that, that have played some football. So um, you know, I, I think they're, they're going to have the opportunity to be deeper at the receiver position this year than we were last year with just that that experience level. What's it like to be you as a coach to look? I know you, you look at all coaches the same, but to look out there this spring and to see guys like Brett Elliott and DJ Looney that, that you've coached before and now they're on your staff. Is that kind of different for you or? It makes me feel old, <laughs> you know. Uh, the, uh, you know, I mean, I, the, uh, I, I, I laugh like, you know, I was coaching Brett Elliott and some of these kids were recruiting now are like one year old and all that. And I'm like, holy cow, I'm getting old. Uh, no, it's it's great, you know what I mean? Because um, you like to see it, I mean, all the guys, you know. I mean, I, you take so much pride as a coach in what your players do, you know, and, and whether it's the guys that are that you're, you're here uh, that, that have come back to coach, you know, whether it's the guys that are having starting their own business or successful or moving up within companies, uh, you know, I mean, Tyler Russell coming into the office to meet with the other day is, is uh, you know, in, in his career path uh, moving forward. Um, guys in the NFL, you take pride with them, you know, I mean, and uh, just just at any at any level. You know, older guys got to go to play in Timmy Tebow's golf outing last week and all the, the amazing things he does. I think as a coach, you just take pride in seeing the success that these guys have. Uh, as they move forward in their life and, and knowing that you maybe had a little bit something to do with that. And uh, um, so it's great seeing those guys here on a daily basis, knowing that, uh, that you help them get here. With the guys rehabbing, how are you patching things together in the offensive line, especially when you're getting Yeah, we're contact? moving some guys. I mean, the, the, you know, with two starters out right now. Um, the great thing is we're, we're creating some depth, you know, I mean, is, is when we get to get into fall camp and we throw those two guys that are starters <laughs> back into the rotation. Uh, you know, you're going to have the opportunity to see, uh, you know, I mean, there, there's there, there are five guys that are they're treating themselves as starters this spring. There's guys that are trying to compete for the starting job, and then there's two more adding to it. 
you know, so we have a chance to have, you know, you, you hope to get, feel good about 10 offensive linemen, which gives you the depth you need, to, you know, to get through a season. You lost a lot of seniors and leaders on that defensive line. Who do you kind of look to to fill that void? Is it the guys that are back or the new guys coming in? Well, I think, I think you know, uh, the new guys, it, it all depends on some of them and where they're at and they're comfort, com being comfortable in it. But, you know, when you look at guys like, you know, Kobe Jones and, and Jeffrey Simmons are guys that have great leadership qualities with the effort they bring every single day, um, that, you know, we'll look for those guys really to be the leaders of that front. You were talking about the kickers with Weston moving on. What, what are you doing with the place kicking right now? Yeah, we, I didn't, we got to cancel today, so I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna work. We'll, we'll figure it out. Those guys, are, those guys will be working. I mean, it'll be a wide open race for us. And, uh, you know, we got another guy coming in uh, this summer. Tucker will be here this summer. So, I mean, another guy to go compete for that, for that, that starting place kicking spot. Now that Richie's moved on and things, Leo becomes an even bigger part of that linebacking core and things. What do you expect to see out of Leo this year? Uh, I mean, obviously a big jump of improvement. You know, I mean, last year uh, got, a, got a lot of playing time as a freshman, uh, you know, and now uh, I think that's, that's now behind him. He knows what he's going to be like during the season. So I, I, this is a big off season for him. You know, a lot like it is for, for Fitz, you know, and some of those guys that now – they're coming into an off season having played a lot, and, and now knowing what to expect, what the season's going to be, what, what's going to hold for them, and how to prepare the right way to improve, uh, it, 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 you know, to get ready for the year. What did Reggie Todd gain in his redshirt year? Uh, a couple pounds, you know, probably a bunch, like probably fifteen to twenty pounds. Uh, no, I mean he's a lot. Reggie's guy hadn't played a lot of football, you know, so he has the opportunity right now. He's gotten gotten a lot stronger, uh, you know, especially when your guy doesn't play. You know, when you're football, basketball, AAU, all that different stuff, you know, you've never spent an off season in the weight room. Uh, so I, you're starting to see a guy that's a lot stronger, you know, and, and being able to come in and out of routes. And, uh, you know, he's, he's got great size that creates mismatches on the field. What are your plans for next week? Oh, I'm going to spend a lot of quality time with the, my wife and my, my kids. And, um, you know, we might go spend a couple of days at our lake house and um, just get away and um, I'm probably caddying. You know, I'll be, I, I might get to play some too, golf, but probably more caddy for my son. I, even, even when we play together, I end up caddying a lot. And I, I don't just get to play, I got a caddy too, so uh, probably some of that. You mentioned the first day, I think we talked to you, that Keaton didn't have any of those confused looks. Now that we're in a couple of weeks, uh, any, any confused looks? No, I, I mean, I'm really impressed with how he's, he's absorbing it. This next 12 days is going to be a, a huge opportunity for him to kind of sit back, hopefully, and you know, we've talked about it, and absorb over the next 12 days. The work he puts in on his own, just walking through things over the next 12 days. If he can come back and absorb those first four installations, he'll be fine the rest of the way. Um, you know, so I think this is critical for him because it, it starts to compound when you have all of this going in. But now if you can, he can just take a step back, you know, and, and review those first four installs, he'll, he'll be fine the rest of the way. and, and, and uh, you know, uh, he's picked it up pretty pretty quickly. Tight end is another position where you have a lot of experience coming back. What is the next step for that group collectively in this development? Well, to, to become playmakers, you know I mean? It was a really young group last year. We got a couple guys that have played some football right now. Um, you know, and, and to use it, there, there's some great mismatches there with, with size and, and athleticism, and, and they have got to become a bigger part of our offense and, you know, become get it to guys where we're trying to get them the ball it, it, instead of, you know, guys that are learning and, and doing their job where they're becoming more star players on the team. Do you have any plans to get them involved in the Oh, offense? yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot. A lot. <laughs>